morning. We decided to spend the day at the farm and um, I have something really exciting for anybody that has had caterpillars eating their trees. Caterpillars were eating my trees and yeah, I don't mind having caterpillars around but don't eat my trees. So the kids came down and helped us plant four flowering crab trees along the driveway and they they did it in the hot sun and they spent a couple of hours doing a great job so yeah we can't have caterpillars eating our trees so i'm going to give you a recipe it's a natural uh, home remedy that i have been i've been spraying not spraying but just squirting the trees with this recipe uh for three weeks once a week and I've noticed that today I went to check the trees and there's no caterpillars on there. So obviously it worked, which is awesome. So I'm gonna give it one more treatment here with you today. And then we will have no caterpillars eating our trees. Have to get uh, something else. So what I've done is I filled this spray bottle with one liter of just regular water and I'm going to crush up three garlic cloves and put it in there and this remedy is awesome it it works I went out there today and there's not one caterpillar out there so that makes me a very happy girl There's that garlic again, right? No wonder it's one of my favorite things because you can use it for so many things. It's not only healthy for us, but pests hate the aroma of garlic. They hate it. So those caterpillars said, hmm, I think I'll go somewhere else. This lady's putting garlic in whatever concoction she's making there, and we do not like it. So off they went somewhere else. So you're going to take your garlic, put it in your little concoction here, in the bottle where there's one liter of water. Add the garlic. There we go. Three cloves of garlic crushed. Then we're going to do, oh, got to get my measuring spoons. Hang on. Okay, so we're going to put a tablespoon of vegetable oil. I'm using olive oil just because that's all we have in the house. But any type of vegetable oil will do. Then I'm going to use one teaspoon of dish soap. And into this solution, I have uh, peppermint essential oil and rosemary essential oil. So um, you can get essential oils at the health food store. So I have peppermint and rosemary. So I'm going to put 10 drops of peppermint. And 10 drops of rosemary. Okay, so remember I told you I'm a little bit of an excessive person and if 10 drops is good, 20 drops is better. Please don't do that with essential oils because they're very strong and your results will be very different than what you want. So if it says 10 drops, don't do what I do and use maybe 20. 
Just use 10. So we're just going to clean this guy up. And now we have our concoction for caterpillars. So three crushed cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of vegetable oil, one teaspoon of dish soap, one liter of water, 10 drops of peppermint essential oil, and 10 drops of rosemary. That's what we have in here. So I'm just going to take you outside and show you the tree that was being eaten. I saw it on two trees that they were being eaten and I said, no, 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 no. You caterpillars need to go somewhere else. So I'm going to bring you outside with me. So it's so awesome when you do something homemade and it works so well. Oh, see, they're haying right now. Awesome. I love it. Okay, so here's the tree that was being eaten and you can see at the base, Those caterpillars were going for it. Now this is just a young tree and in no time, well, I think this tree would have been dead by now because uh, they were really eating it. And now caterpillars are gone. So all you do is take it and spray it with your spray bottle. You start at the base of the tree. And just work up as far as you can reach because they're gonna travel up there. But if you get it at starting at the base of the tree, the chances of them getting this far up are pretty slim. So I just give it some squirts up here Give it a good soak. And they do not like that concoction at all. So I do all the all around the tree. Like to give you an idea, this this bottle is not quite a liter. Um, but I'll use that to do six trees. Sorry, my hand was getting sore from squirting. I had to change it. Don't you love the sound of a tractor in the background? Love it! Now, I did learn, of course, with this squirt bottle that you have to shake it up a bit because the garlic will clog up in there. <clears throat> this isn't the best squirt bottle, I had a better one, but it broke. So we're trying to deal with this guy today and not doing such a good job, but got to get it done because we do not want those caterpillars coming back. So that's it. That's all you do. And like I said, once a week, I've been doing it for three weeks. So this is the fourth week and I, I think I'm done because it seems to be keeping them at bay. So I'm going to do my other trees, but you don't have to come with me because boring. When you see it once, you're done. So to recap, if you've got caterpillars on your trees 
and they they will kill them because they'll just keep munching until that tree is dead so if you want to do it a natural way because i'm not big on chemicals and pesticides so if you want to do it a natural way this works this recipe works so just to recap i did it once a week for four weeks no sign of a caterpillar and the trees were covered so you have three clush sorry three crushed cloves of garlic one tablespoon of vegetable oil i happen to use olive oil but you can use any vegetable oil one teaspoon dish soap one liter of water 10 drops of peppermint essential oil that you can get at the health food store and 10 drops of rosemary essential oil again you can get that at the health food store done that's your concoction for getting rid of caterpillars one of my favorite things getting rid of caterpillars on my trees they need to leave i want my trees to thrive so have a good day i'll probably see you in a bit in the garden bye